off because uh, YouTube will get rid of us if you're singing there. That's my, that's uh, Rudy the Redneck Reindeer. That's what I call him. All right, you know, folks, I, I got to tell you, I have had, I've had all kind of requests, you know, to do readings and different stuff. And just remember, folks, I just want you to remember this. I am not a psychic. I am not a medium. Uh, I'm just a messenger. I love to read about what different cards mean and different items. And I've come up with my own items because I want to talk to ghosts. I talk to ghosts all the time. And you should, too. Well, maybe you shouldn't because maybe you would think that you're crazy. But you know what? I probably am crazy, but anyway, <laughs> I enjoy talking to spirits and phenomenons, angels, ghosts, God, any any spirit that I can talk to out there, so, but I got a request the other day, and this is the thing I enjoy doing about the boards, uh, but you know, the thing that I don't know how to take this, and this one's a very well, it's kind of an unusual request. I've never had it before. And uh, I'm just going through. I got a, this is one of my little magic boxes that I put together. I'm going to be doing a little presentation soon. I just want to make sure I get everything in here. Um, so I, I'm, I'm just really, I, I wanted to share this one with you because um, I was given the okay. Okay, I'll just tell you, I was given the okay about uh, uh, about this reading, and um, I, th I believe that you're going to find that this reading is, is quite something. <laughs> yeah, quite something. So let me tell you what request I got the other day. It's from a lady, um, and her, she's from uh, Union Springs, Alabama. Now I've never been to Union Springs. I don't think I've been to uh, I've been to Alabama, but I I don't think that I have ever been to uh, Union Springs, Alabama. So anyway, and the lady's name is. Uh, Well, let's see. Her name is Kathy E. I'm just going to say it's Kathy E. That's, that's the name she gave me. Now, folks, when people email me, I never know if they're telling the truth, you know. But I'm just going by that. I have no reason to believe that she may be telling. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. I don't know. Um, and she's 29 years old. And um, in Union Springs, Alabama, uh, in January of 2015, well, she says that um, she killed her boyfriend. Yeah. So, her request was not a lot but it was different I'm just going to say that it was different it was uh, well let's see she wants to try to contact her boyfriend and it was the boyfriend that she killed 
and uh, she wants to just get in touch with her now with him um, now I sent her back an email and I I just told her I said uh, well I'd be glad to do a, a, a reading or you know what 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 kind of contact are you uh, trying to you know to get in touch with and um, she says that she saw me do the ghost texting through a phone the telephone ghost texting and I said yes yes ma'am I have uh, she gave me her phone number and she and I called her and we had a quite a conversation uh, on the phone just to say the least <laughs> um, so well she wants to see if she can get in touch with her boyfriend I said well I said you know uh, you know Miss Kathy there's no there's no 100% guarantee that that uh, is going to happen um, and I said even if we do get in touch with a spirit uh, there's no guarantee that it's your um, that it's your um, boyfriend. Now that's not to say that it would not be. I said, but uh, I'll be glad to do it. So here's what we need to do. I said, um, I need to um, have something that's very personal that uh, both of you knew about. And uh, I, she told me what it was, and. Uh, and I always give them, you know, folks an option if they, you know, if they'd like to share that, you know, on film because I, I tell them, you know, hey, you, you know, I'm going to record this and do you mind if I share this uh, as a video? And uh, she was very happy about it. Um, she uh, she told me what, uh, what the personal item that she has. And she told me I could share it, so I'm going to tell you what it is. And uh, so we'll. Uh, hmm. um, so th the personal item <clears throat> is a hairbrush. It's a red hairbrush, and it's a uh, matter of fact. It's uh, the uh, red hairbrush that. Uh, that she had in her hand right before she, uh, well, right before she killed her boyfriend. And I said, okay, uh, well, okay, Miss Kathy, um, I said, uh, so you, you rib, that's, that's your personal item you want to use. She said, yes, she knows that, uh, or she believes that her boyfriend she believes her boyfriend would actually, if could come through as a spirit and talk to her or leave some kind of message, would be able to um, <clears throat> would be able to pick up on that. And I asked her for a few more personal item or things you know that I think that the spirits may be able to help her with, you know, to kind of contact and all. So she she supplied that. So she just. Basically, I said, I asked her, I said, okay, so Kathy, so I, I understand that you want to, you want to contact your, um, <clears throat> your boyfriend, um, and she's already went to prison for it. Um, I won't get into the, I won't get into what happened, uh, but she's no longer in prison, I'll just say that. Um, but she said that she, uh, she very, she feels awful about the whole situation and that she would, uh, just like to hear from him, that she'd like to tell him that she, that she, she's sorry, she misses him and that she just wished that that night had never happened. And I can imagine, I, I, I can, I totally imagine that that would be something that would you know live with you for the rest of your life and I asked her I said so uh Kathy if you don't mind me asking what why what what happened I mean 
why did you feel like you had to kill him? And she just simply said, well, he was, he was very abusive uh, and that she, uh, she wanted, she couldn't, she tried to get away from him and they got into a bad argument and just one thing led to another and it was just a, a bad situation. And he started to attack her. And, and folks, I apologize to anyone that's had this happen to them. Um, just know that I, I don't condone any action of anybody being violent to anyone whatsoever. Um, and she just felt like that she had no other choice as he was coming after her. But he, she feels like that, you know, things could have been different if she'd have done it, you know, if she'd have maybe handled things a little differently. So, and I do understand that. Uh, I'm going to get set up and we're going to try to contact uh, her boyfriend. Now, and she told me some things that uh, maybe the spirit could pick up and maybe hone in and stuff. So getting ready to go to uh, another dimension in ghost readings so here we go so i'm going to a uh, little secret place well, it's not a secret place but it's a place that a lot of people don't realize what it means and, uh, show you here. It's a beautiful little park and it's a pretty nice day. So before we can get started with the uh, texting, I have to do a little procedure. And uh, well there it is. <laughs> there it is. And this, my friends, is what we call a spirit hotspot. And this is just one. There's several in my area. And uh, if you're not sure what a spirit hotspot is, well, it's just a place where uh, you can get in touch with spirits easily because it's where they gather. They like unique spots. And this is a very unique spot here. So we're going to see if we can get in touch with uh, our spirit, Mr. John Easley. That's Kathy's boyfriend. Let's get things set up here. That's our charging bank. And what we need is the spirit of John Easley. John Easley. The spirit bank is here. This is the, bar the battery bank. You can uh, put your energy in that bank there. Mr. Easley, John Easley, if you're here, you will be able to communicate with this device. And the good thing is it's solar. It's receiving energy. It's receiving energy. Hopefully, we have our spirit. All right, so here we go, folks. Here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see if our spirit was able to get into the battery bank. <laughs> All right. 
Mr. John Easley. You are in here. Please, if you're in this battery bank, please use that phone to contact us by texting us. All right, now I'm putting some personal items in here. That was a uh, help. We have the rest in peace box. John E, we have the box here. You can rest easy. We got some items here. A little secret item in here. And of course, we got some matches. John E, whatever you do, please do not ignite the matches. And then we have the special keepsake here. Gotta have the antenna in here. Don't burn. It is 4:49, November. This is February, leap year day, the 29th. How about that? Okay, John E's. John Easley, if you can hear us, Kathy's gonna be getting in touch with you. You can text her. You can text me. This is George. We mean you no harm. You're safe. You're very safe. Please go into the phone and text us. You can use that device to communicate with us. Let's see what happens. So I set up a three-way taxing and I had told Kathy to be ready to start texting and she was all set up and I was set up and we were just waiting for some confirmation from the spirit and this is what happened.
Oh my goodness. That was something. Holy cow. Folks, I just cannot tell you how nervous I was. Oh my gosh. That, that was something. That was something. Gosh, this phone, this phone is so freaking hot. Oh my goodness, I can't, ooh, I can't believe it. Thank <laughs> you.